So, in effect, it's a gamble. And Kate could jump off the train now or she might want to stick it out and see if, if the, the stocks and shares go up a bit. Um, I, personally, um, I, right today, as we're sitting, right today, I, I wouldn't cash in on a 10 to 15% fall in the stock market. Um, I'm saying that um, I can see the case for further falls over the next few days, or indeed it may bounce over the next few days. What I'm saying is, and what I'm saying to my clients is, um, um, that if we can get the market up a little from where we are today, then that would be um, a good point where we will actually, well, to be technical, we, we will um, increase our exposure to um, the market going down. We, we have some exposure to the market going down, which means we've made money in the last couple of weeks. Uh, we want to buy some more of that um, if we can get the market up. In the, in the ladies' case, yes, I think it would be a sensible to reduce her exposure um, if the market gets higher over the next few days or a couple of weeks than it is now, without expecting that it's just going to carry on rising. But I'm not saying she should get out entirely. Um, that, that it's, it's too complex to say that uh, to be all or nothing. But reducing ask, exposure. Yes. Can I ask a quick question? Because obviously you're, you've got a limit that you can put into your ISAs each year, and I'd always seen my ISA, stocks and shares ISAs as a long-term investment for my uh, retirement. Um, so... You know, looking at the sort of like the long picture, if I take the money out of the stocks and shares ISIS now, presumably then I can't put it back in again, well, uh, only in the incremental that. yearly amount. Yeah. Well, as I say, um, w within um, 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 quality in, in, in individual savings accounts, I ISIS, you can move to cash, but still stay within the ISA tax-free wrapper. Within low quality ISAs, um, if, if, if you move out of, shall we say, the markets or funds, um, then you're actually selling the ISA. You're coming away from tax freedom. So I don't know what kind of plan you've got. Um, um, but, you know, this thing about uh, long term, the implication is that you'll make money long term in the stock market. I'm trying to disabuse you of that notion. It's a fallacy. The, the FTSE, for example, was 7,000 in 1999. As we speak, it's 5,300. That's 11 years, 12 years later. And then, as I say, add on inflation. So those who rely on the stock market for long term gains are in cloud cuckoo land, and you need a more professional approach to your investing okay thank you uh, yeah I did tell you Kate uh, <laughs> jo jo Jonathan, Jonathan is not known for his optimism about the economy I'm known for stopping people from losing money that's what I do <laughs>